Ah, man, me and my wife, we, uh, we went on a trip recently, went to Italy. A lot of fun, a little stressful, don't know Italian. We did pick up a few words while we were there. Uh, well, I would walk through doorways or off of a train or just stand next to someone too long and we'd either hear whispered or shouted, Il Gigante. <laughs> so now I know the Italian word for handsome. <laughs> That's nice. Now people feel, that I'm six foot nine, uh, if the basketball credit didn't give you the, the hint, I'm six foot nine, and people feel the need to tell me how tall I am, just in life. They just walk up, oh my gosh, you're so tall! I'm like, I know, I own a ceiling fan. I know. <laughs> I'm in that bad tall range. Or I'm too tall for anything to work right for me. I can't fit on planes, I can't buy pants, whatever. But I'm not tall enough to be white in the NBA. Like, it was <laughs> so close, you know? <laughs> and I just, I wish, uh, the things people take for granted, right? Regular heighted people, you wake up in the morning, you go into the bathroom, you look yourself in the face in the mirror. You know what I see when I look in the mirror? Torso! That's it! Like, every single day. How do you know how hard it is to have good self-esteem where you're getting ready for a date and you gotta bend over like Quasimodo, you're just like, you're gonna kill it with the ladies, Seth. It's tough. It's tough. Oh, man, I, uh... People always ask if I had a... You know, hard time buying clothes. Yes, I did have a hard time buying clothes. You try finding a 30 waist and a 40 inseam, okay? <laughs> Four by three is an aspect ratio, it's not a pant. <laughs> and then they always follow it up with, well, have you tried shopping at Big and Tall? You been there, Big and Tall? <laughs> Round of applause, who's been to Big and Tall? <laughs> like four people! <laughs> but you know, and probably a couple of fat guys that didn't want to clap, but uh... <laughs> But you know, if you've been to Big and Tall, you know, at this point in America, let's be honest, it's mostly big, okay? <laughs> you walk in there, there's one rack of tall clothes and a wall of belts as tall as I am. That's, uh... If you're considering an 81-inch belt, consider a toga, you know? It's the original one-size-fits-all. You say, Seth, how am I gonna wear a toga in my day-to-day? -day? Just own it. It's all about confidence, right? Some punk comes up to you, what are you supposed to be? It is I, the Greek god of good harvest and plenty. <laughs> My name, Diabetes. <laughs> I think that was a good marketing move for the big and tall stores, right? Because no one's gonna shop at a store called Big and Fat. What's <laughs> their slogan? The only thing lower than our prices is your self-esteem. <laughs> Oh, and I have a lot of fat jokes. I don't have a problem with fat people. I have a problem with people who make excuses, right? There's nothing I could have done differently to be not a freak of nature, right? You know, oh, I'm, I'm not fat, I'm big boned. I'm big boned, okay? Let's, they're gonna find my skeleton and think it was a T-Rex. <laughs> uh, I have a glandular problem, I have a glandular problem. But McDonald's is not a gland. <laughs> Mom. <laughs> And I know she's gonna watch this special and just be like, I could go for a McGland right now. <laughs> Dip that in a little barbecue, a little McGland. If you want, you can watch my entire special for only 99 cents. Just click here, easy as pie. Or you can watch more clips by clicking here. And make sure to subscribe by clicking here. Come on, click it. You know you want to. I can see your, your trigger finger on that mouse getting, well, let's be honest, we're all on phones.